Periformis syndrome. The sciatic nerve is compressed by the piriformis muscle in the buttock. The piriformis syndrome may be associated with lower lumbar radiculopathy similar to spine pathology. Some patients may have spine surgery without improvement. Symptoms. We have very limited information about this topic. May develop from blunt trauma to the buttock. The patient usually complains of localized buttock pain increased by sitting or driving. Tenderness in the sciatic notch. The pain may increase by bicycling or running in younger patients. Radicular symptoms with pain and paresthesia, but it is not very common. Pain may be present when palpating directly deep into the area of the greater sciatic notch. Provocative test, Lassage Maneuver. How do you do that? You bend the hip to a 90 degree and you extend the knee. That will reproduce the pain in the greater sciatic notch. The sciatic nerve is usually compressed by the periformis, by some fibrous bands, or by vascular anomalies. Be aware of the possible anatomical variation of the sciatic nerve in relationship to the periformis. There are four types of anatomical variations of the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve has a tibial part and perineal part. They are usually bound together, but sometimes they divide at the pass through the piriformis muscle or underneath it. The relationship of the sciatic nerve to the piriformis varies. Number one, the sciatic nerve passes underneath the piriformis muscle. Number two, the piriformis is split and the nerve is split as you can see from the picture. Number three, one periformis and the nerve is split above and below the periformis. Number four, the entire nerve pass through the split periformis muscle. Diagnosis, high index of suspicion, patient history and exam is important. EMG and bone scan are not very helpful. The MRI may show enlarged periformis, anomalies of the vessels, or compression of the sciatic nerve. Diagnostic injection is helpful. Treatment. Aquatic therapy, physiotherapy, some medications, injections. And the last resort is surgical release of the periformis muscle and decompression of the sciatic nerve. This operation is usually successful in relieving the pain of the patient. Perils. Consider the possibility of piriformis syndrome when treating a patient with trochanteric bursitis or a patient with sciatica, especially after a failed spine surgery. Patient with sciatica will have pathology in the lumbar spine as shown on MRI such as disc herniation, stenosis, or degenerative changes. Patient with piriformis syndrome may not have symptoms or MRI findings related to the lower back. How do you really diagnose piriformis syndrome? You diagnose it by high index of suspicion in a patient with buttock or leg pain in the absence of lumbar pathology. This pain is increased by sitting and the patient doesn't have or have very little back pain. Periformis syndrome is a heading cause of sciatica. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.